Before we start the video, I'm proud to announce that the Enigma is now available on Anchor and Spotify. And with that, I hope you enjoy the video. We read, listen, recount stories that fascinate us. It's the stories that we can relate to the most are the ones that become a part of who we are. It excites us knowing that living in the ordinary can also be extraordinary. From the tales and legends that are forgotten and the stories that keep us up at night, I bring you Stories from the Dark and I'm your host, The Enigma. The Chris is a dagger uniquely found in Southeast Asia. Countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Southern Thailand, Southern Philippines, and in the Kham areas of Cambodia. It's a double-edged dagger useful for combat and to display the ranking of an individual. Due to its small length, when in combat, it lends an advantage to its wielder, especially in a confined space such as in the jungles or inside a building. It is also used to complete the Malay attire, where if a man were to wander around without it, they are considered walking around naked. Nowadays, the blade is regarded as part of the Malay culture and symbolizes their way of life. Its uniqueness can be seen in its wavy design and the detail at the base of the blade, not found in any other ancient sword. The Chris is not only respected because of its beautiful design and its practicality, but rather, it was also feared because of the mystical abilities that it possessed. The blade was so powerful that it has the ability to protect the owner from an incoming danger. Owners of the blade would usually store at least one at the ceiling of their house so that they would be protected. It was said that it is as if it has its own life. Rumors have it that the wielder of the blade can transfer a blazing fire from one location to another just by pointing the tip of the blade. It was said that back in the day, Malay swordsmen would burn shipping vessels just by doing so. It was also said to be able to kill an enemy just by stabbing their footprints. In another story, it was said that the Chris has the ability to fly merely by pointing at a target. The following is a true story from a Twitter user called Fateha about a man who acquired a number of Chris in the realm of the devil. I heard this story from my mother who works as a Muslim witch doctor. One day, a man called Mahadir from Mora Johor called my mother about a problem of getting rid of certain items in his house that were possessed. According to my mother, Mahadir was a skilled shaman who started learning black magic rituals and spells when he was in his early 40s. He learned all the spells and the rituals from a shaman in Indonesia who has now passed away, making it harder to remove the entity that was now attached to him. Over the years, he managed to perform a number of rituals which gave him inhumane abilities, some of which was the ability to be invincible, to be loved by many even though people barely know him and to be feared so that people would respect him. Many strange things happened when he started practicing the rituals. He recounted one time he was asleep for three days straight. His family thought he was dead or in a coma. When he woke up, he couldn't believe he slept for three days as he felt he was only asleep for an hour. One night, whilst he was asleep, he dreamt that he was transported to a different realm and there was an individual who challenged him into a duel to the death. Mahadir won the battle and he retrieved the Chris from his opponent. As soon as he woke up, he noticed something was in his right hand. It was the Chris that he won from the dream. After that dream, he had many similar ones where after the battle, 
he would retrieve the crest of his opponent. After a while, he was also able to retrieve other valuable items such as valuable stones and old currencies to name a few. He displayed many of his acquired artifacts in a glass cabinet in his living room. Initially, he had no interest to be cured whatsoever considering the lavish rewards he was able to gain by practicing the rituals. However, because of his age, he hasn't been actively practicing the rituals as he did before, such as feeding the blades by burning incense over them. This brought unwanted incidents to occur in his house, which affected not only him but also his family. One night, whilst he and his family were asleep, Mahadir was awoken by the sound of the glass cabinet rumbling in the living room. It was shaking vigorously as if there was an earthquake. Mahadir got up and went out to see what was happening. As soon as he reached the living room, the glass cabinet shattered into a million pieces. The artifacts were all in the same place as it was before, but not the blades. All of the blades were nowhere to be found. He immediately went to check for them around the house, and in the end, he found all of them were laid on top of his bed as if it has been transported. What's even weirder was the glass cabinet restored to its original form as if nothing had happened to it. The worst incident happened whilst he was working out station. Mahadir's wife knew he would be working overnight, expecting she would be alone. However, to her surprise, Mahadir was already home a few hours later. His wife didn't think much of it and thought it really was her husband. Later that night, she slept with him. After this incident, Mahadir was desperate to find help. Thus, he consulted as many shamans as he could, hoping they were able to get rid of the kris that was in his possession. However, all of their attempts proved to be a failure. Mahadir swore he saw all the blades were thrown in a river, but once he got home, there they were, in his class cabinet. He believes the blades have already latched onto him, making it impossible to get rid of them. After so many failed attempts to be cured, he gave up and asked my mother for help. He was initially against being treated by my mother. The reason behind this is because of his black magic practice which is considered to be against the teachings of Islam. As soon as my mother started cleansing the blades, she could feel the blades were shaking violently as if they were in protest of what my mother was doing. Thankfully, the blades were successfully cleansed without much of a problem. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and share it with your friends. Hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I try my best to post new videos every weekend. Do let me know what topics you would like me to cover in the comment section below. If you have any horror stories you would like to share with me, email us at theenigma at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.